go, Melanated and Elevated. Hey, hey, what's going on, kings and queens? Right, how we feeling today on this rainy Monday? It's raining here in Columbus, but we got sunshine, we got positive energy, good vibes, high frequency, and informative information. Yes, so, so, yeah, so um, we got to get right into it. We're going to talk about parasites, parasitic influences, how you could be influenced by the beast within. Mm. So we got we to gotta get straight to it. There's talk about three today. ways you could be influenced by a parasite, and that's by through the food. That's the most obvious way. They're making GMO foods and, you know what I'm saying, stuff, all kind of cancer-causing stuff. So food through people. People moves like energy vampires and, you know what I'm saying, parasites as well. So we got to talk about people that drain your energy, and we got to talk about spiritual sexual lustful uh parasites that come in the form of an incubus or succubus and you know you walk around lusting all day and you know that, you don't that, even know why <laughs> don't even know why and, and yeah. if you got a parasite you got a literally a par a leech draining you every day causing you to you know so boom and this is look here baby people these listen here everybody needs to know this this is very and this is very very vital to know how these parasites can literally drain you from not only your energy, they can drain you from a uh, power, just everything. Like honestly, you're sharing basically if you have a parasite inside of you, especially if you're eating them within the foods and everything, the fatty foods, the meats, mm -hmm. a lot of sugar, you're basically sharing your body. You have an invader inside of your body Man. to a certain extent. And I know it's like, what? And people who are out here really thinking they don't have parasites inside of them because you can't see them. It's like for some reason as human beings, we tend to just not care too much about what we can't see you know people don't really ask too many questions about the spiritual realm people don't really ask too many questions about parasites but these this this ish is real man you know it's so real. babe why don't you break down to them what a parasite yeah. is so a parasite is an organism that lives within another organism and feeds off of that organism and depletes it of its nutrients for his own survival mm. so so that's that's what a parasite is something that the beast within that's feeding off of your off of your nutrients feeding off of your energy for its own survival for its own for its own game so that's what a parasite is so the first thing we're going to talk about is the food because if you're eating any type of meat or any or any sugars and sweets and uh any type of uh uh fast food uh popeyes chicken uh, you got major parasites inside of you, and you gotta you gotta understand that these parasites emit chemicals that embed themselves in your nervous system, and your nervous system is very important. Your autonomic nervous system is responsible for bodily functions that don't that you don't pay attention to, like your eyes blinking, your your heart beating. Like there's things that happen automatically that you don't have to worry about consciously, but it happens it happens for you the human so, body is, is freaking amazing right I just leave it at that. <laughs> right so so you got parasites that can embed themselves on, on your nervous system and embed chemicals that can make you feel sad and make you feel hungry and make you addicted to toxic things so when you go to popeyes and mcdonald's and you eating food you could tell first off anybody that has parasites in them it takes them a long time to get full so you you could tell they gotta eat three, four burgers, eat three, four plates, and and, and what happens is they're stretching their intestinal tract. Mm -hmm. And what happened and, and they it takes them a longer time to get full because you're not only feeding yourself, but you feeding the parasite that, that's inside you too. So the moment you wanna stop uh eating Popeye's chicken, you know, that 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 uh that parasitic influence, it's a wrap. You can't stop. And let me try America. That's real good. I didn't even know that. That's crazy, babe. Yeah. You, a lot of times you'll teach me things. I'm sitting here like, hmm. But anyways, um, that parasitic influence is everything, man. Because like you say, it's literally an invader taking over. And the more and more you feed it, the bigger it grows, basically. You know what I mean? So it's like, I also think when it comes to food, you know how as black people, we like to call it the itis. When you get super full oh, and it makes yeah. you like dumb, sleepy, you just can't even function at this point. That's the parasite. That's when you feel the the urge to immediately go to sleep. Your body got You have no down. energy. The parasite has completely drained you. And it's not cool. You know, in our community, we make jokes. I got the itis. Oh, I got the soul food. I ate the pork chops. And, and don't get me wrong. You know, it's not wrong with you every blue moon eating some soul food. I'm not sitting here saying you got to be a damn, you know, robot. Right. But at the end of the day, you have to truly understand that what you're putting in your body 
is very, very important because, like I said, these parasites are feeding off of you. So, right, yeah, man. And you see people acting crazy out here, and it's because they got parasites inside of them like real live parasites making them do crazy stuff. You don't see people uh, eating a broccoli and you know, see eating uh, organic foods and going out and uh, starting arguments and, and fighting people for no reason. And, and, and you know, so we gotta get down to the, to the, to the source of the problem, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and the sources, we, we gotta understand that to kill parasites, because I'm not perfect. Sometimes I eat some sweets. Sometimes I'm, I might wanna cook you or something. And what I have to do is I fast completely. But when you start fasting, that parasite loves whatever you feeding it whatever toxic food you feeding it so it's going to embed chemicals that make you sad make you depressed so it's the moment you start you, you start know, feeding you be out here you like, be you like damn like, like man, i need some some sugar you, it's crazy when you fast and you truly fast fast like not almost no cheating you go through um, some all some whole other emotions he's right. absolutely right, right. Yeah. and i would tell him a story about what i went through when i first started fasting here recently taking my natural herbs. We're going to get into that. We're going to get into that today. Oh, but uh, Darko, before yeah. the video is over, we'll definitely talk about this, this natural herb that can get rid of parasites. And I'll tell you how I have proof of it. All right. Yeah. yeah go ahead, baby. You keep on going about the food and I'm going to get into the next parasite. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, basically we, the only way you, you can fast, that's one way you can kill them. And then you can eat alkaline foods like electricity destroys them. So when you eating alkali alkaline water, spring water, when you, um, uh, any type of uh, lemons, alkaline lemons. Um, when you take in supplement, ashwagandha, harataki, a, re a real good black seed oil, that alka alkaline, um, kale, uh, uh, salads and, and stuff, any alkaline food. Basically the Dr. CB, uh, if you following Dr. CB, you all alkaline, you, you good. So that's the way we get it. So the next way that we got to talk about is um, boom spiritual parasites mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so so there's people that go around lusting all day long you know what i'm saying and and you got to understand that's a low vi vibrational like there's some people that can't even see an attractive female or an attractive uh, uh, of the opposite sex without having to get their number try to holler try to say some some derogatory some and, and these people are walking around with you know, saying a succubus or an incubus attached to them all day. And you and gotta give a disclaimer real quick because you know some people be like, "Oh, I you know." Yeah. We're not talking about look staring at a big booty. We ain't talking about when you go to Kroger's and you see a big ass booty. Well, we're not talking about that. Right. Even as a female, you see somebody with a nice body. Okay, she got a big booty. We're not talking about that. We're he's talking about literally where you have no control over these hormones and you feel right. like you're constantly you got it you got it you got to you got to try to get it every day it's like it. some people really every have to day. get it every day i've heard you know i don't i, yeah. I don't every know about day. all that but there's they... some, some people there's some people you know what i'm saying that watch porn hub you got to wake up every day on the porn hub mm -hmm. man you you dreaming you dreaming of you know what i'm saying uh having sex in your dreams and you waking up, got a got a porn hub. There's no you gotta, control. It's draining you of your energy. You got to understand that's draining you. You know, and and it's a it, it's it's crazy because you know you you will wake up and won't understand why you tired. You know, what I'm saying I won't understand why you and you you think it's normal, but you really got a a demonic a a, a, a lustful spirit inside of you. And the only way to fix that issue is by a semen retention. And, and that sounds like it like it's crazy but there's no that there's nothing more powerful than holding your withholding your energy mm -hmm. for a long period of time like it's, it's it's strong it's powerful and that's what that's why you see boxers like before the fight like two weeks before the fight they they not having sex mm -hmm. they not they 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 fasting they working out like crazy killing themselves like by the time they get in the ring they ready to destroy something yeah the sexual energy is the most power I don't know if you if you know about sexual transmutation please comment mm. you know tell me if you know anything about sexual mm. transmutation but the sexual energy is the most powerful energy there is flat out it's more powerful than any other energy period so it's like you have to have self control when it comes to that you know if you're out here like he said and you can't control yourself and your hormones and you're constantly horny, you or whatever it may be, and you can't figure out why you always gotta, you know, do other things to get yourself off. That's that's not normal. I'm keeping it real with you because you gotta have it's okay to have a healthy sexual appetite, you know what I mean? Right. But you shouldn't be out here when you you have no control over it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's a parasite. Right. So when, when it's to that point, and like you said, you're going porn hub every day, or you just to the point where it takes like it feels like it's low-key controlling you, that's definitely a parasite. Okay. Don't don't sit here and think that you should sit here and be 
getting off that often because first of all you can't be as creative you can't be as right. productive because you're literally draining yourself mm -hmm. you're draining yourself of your most powerful energy and sexual transmutation man look it up but when you're in love and you know how to um, use that energy to your to your uh, advantage to your manifestation it's a whole different ball game man mm -hmm. it's very powerful so these parasites are not a game all right 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 man i'm you, you want to go ahead and get man. to the last one uh, uh people oh that's the best that's i mean parasite i mean people sometimes people can move like walking energy draining parasites themselves just you know you <laughs> might you might get a you might be just feeling good one day and you know what I'm saying? You all positive energy pop and you might just get that random text just by, you know what I'm saying, somebody and it just drains your energy. Or you might, you know, just be I work for public transit, man. So I'm driving the bus sometimes and I'm dealing with all kind of energies. Some days I have great days. It's like, man, everybody's nice, but this is like some days there's just something in the air. And everybody is just rude or you know, and, and it, it it drains you when you gotta deal with people that's harboring low vibrational energies like when you get around people that want to talk about that, that want to talk about dumb shit and you know um gossip about other people you know it, it it drains you because we all about vibing high you can't vibe high you know if you constantly complaining if you constantly gossiping you can't it, and see let me say this too I, he's right because misery loves company and people like to recite slogans but they don't really understand the true meaning behind them you know what i mean with these when they say misery loves company they're talking about the energy a person who's vibing low and they have no good energy they want to constantly feed off of yours period i told you we're, mm. we're batteries literally our souls are all we are are batteries and at the end of the day inside of these bodies people need to feed off of energy we're gonna we're gonna get into another video about the aliens that's gonna be our we're gonna give them a little yeah, recap yeah, we're gonna yeah. get into how they control us through our chaos in this this three dimension it's, it's real deep man we're gonna get into yeah. that here soon but at the end of the day it's very important to protect your energy this is right. not a fun little spiritual quote to say it's very real because you're constantly being drained when you're about when you're around people or around a person who's not happy because nobody who's unhappy wants to see somebody happy period i don't mm. care if it's your family your spouse your friends whoever it may be if they're not genuinely happy they cannot be genuinely happy for you I don't care what nobody says, man. So these right. parasites is spiritual warfare, first of all. Right. It's it's literally, like I said in my status, it's demons portraying to be humans. They're inside of these human bodies and they're out here wreaking havoc. You wreaking know what I mean? Havoc. And they're they're just draining us and Good. man. And, and people, we we can be our own worst enemy. Mm. You know, we can be our own worst enemy, harbor, harboring parasites, harboring negative act uh 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 intentions. You know, because it's all about your intention in the end of the day. It ain't about what you do, it's about why you did it. And there's a lot of people that just ain't moving right. It's mm -hmm. it's, it's just we we just gotta it's 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 the it's the sign of the times right now because mm -hmm. it's it's like you know you see there's so many people just lost in the sauce and just just don't really care. So you know I feel like you know to all the troopers out there and just people that's um you know living li actually living your truth and actually. Uh, putting the work in, putting the spiritual work in, practicing discipline and, and, and eating right and living right and, and doing what's right. Let, just keep keep doing what you're doing, man, because it's, motiv it's motivational mm -hmm. and, it, and, it's, and it's inspirational. And, and right now, we, we got to be walking beacons of light. There, we we got to uh, be walking examples of what, what we preaching. And we're not perfect. Like, we, 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 we can, it's okay to make mistakes, mm -hmm. you know, but we're going to be a little bit better than we was yesterday that's that's right. all we could try to be and see what it is is you know you're vibing high can't nobody mess with you everybody wants to know what the solution is mm. how do you fight these demons these low vibrational spirits you know mm. whatever you want to call them by vibing higher literally they cannot mess with you when you're vibing high when you're moving through spirit and your vibration is up here something is down here well what are they gonna do with you it's like right. in real life if you're on a higher perspective and a person want to argue rah, they always want to be violent want to fight and whatnot but you vibing all the way up here you're gonna be in your buddhist mouth because you're gonna see a higher perspective you know what i'm saying you're right. not being drained by parasites you're eating good like and when we went to the uh, nutrition place nutrition whitehall they like every time we go somewhere man your skin is just it's little, it's clean. You guys Man. are glowing. It's because we eat clean, but we're also vibing through our spirit. Mm. People don't, we're sun gazing, you know, we're sun bathing. And it's like, we out here doing everything to feed our spirits so we can keep them parasites away. And let me tell you all my story real quick too, before we end this, this video, before I get to run in my mouth. <laughs> 
uh, back to the Paul Darko. Let me get close real quick. Get you some of this. We've been taking this for at least about two years now, along with our other supplements. And long story short, I had got hooked to basically just taking my main two, right? I just take my main two, I take. Well, we ran out um, a couple weeks ago recently, so my husband's like, hey, babe, why don't you go ahead and just replace it with the Paul Darko? You ain't took this in a minute, right? I'm like, all right, cool. So mind you, I'm super healthy. I drink mad water, I'm working out, you know, I eat good, I fast sometimes, but this time around, I usually, um, I'm still kind of having, I mean, sugar is in everything. It's hard to really get away from sugar. But long story short, when I took the Paul Darko, literally a day or two later, I peed out a parasite. And the only reason why I knew it was a parasite is because first of all, I had a weird, like a green color or something like that. So I did some research. Yeah, it was a parasite. Mm. And when you fast, you're cleansing your, because I had drank a whole, like, almost two gallons of water that day. Mm -hmm. And I believe it truly cleaned me out. And it sounds scary, because I'm like, what the, what the hell? What is this? Right. And I, I didn't know what was going on, but it's real, y'all. Ladies, because you know, we really got to stay cleaned up. We got to stay pure, so. Man. And, but fellas, it's definitely just as necessary, man. So. It, it is. And, and, and how many people have heard of Paul Darko? Like, how many people have heard of this? Like, I learned it from a trooper. You know, crystal clear, she's still on here. But um, yeah, man, like there's there's vitamins and supplements. Like this this bottle of 250 capsules, man, this was like 10 bucks. And if you YouTube videos on Par Darko and what it does, it's like wow, like, you know, it, it does so much that it's it's um it's it's mandatory in, in this household. Yeah, you can replace all of you go to the doctor, you're like, Oh, I got a stomach ache, I got indigestion, whatever you cause you can heal yourself, you know. So right. stuff like this, ten dollars. Ten dollars to bucks. clean parasites out, y'all. Come on, come right. on. Especially my black people, I keep talking to y'all because we don't really know the power of like natural healing. And you know, rest in peace to my mom. She wanted to start getting um what's it called when they stick the pins in you again? What's that? Uh uh um acupuncture. Acupuncture. She was really um about to start doing that, but you know, just being older, she was more apt to go to the hospital and everything. But before she passed away, she was asking me about it. And it's like, I really wish she could have experienced that, you know, because natural healing is really everything. So please get into this. Keep these parasites away, y'all. We're going to keep this going for too long. But we love you guys. We're giving you guys the keys. We got the keys, keys. Keys, keys, This keys. is how you, how you elevate. Man, All right. Man, that's what it's uh, melanated and elevated. So please, yeah. please like and subscribe. And um, we're gonna keep going hard with the information. And it's only gonna keep getting more raw and more more realer because we see that this is the time to be talking about real stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, we we can't just sit back and just talk about sports and uh and Kevin Samuels over here distracting. We we gotta talk about uh, how, how, can, how can we fix these problems? Because like, health how, is wealth. <laughs> right. How can we fix these problems that's in there? How can we fit? Let's focus on the solution. Mm -hmm. Like, so, boom. That's that's how it is, and man. And anybody out here that's scared of viruses and everything that's going around, why aren't you getting healthy? Get healthy. Even if you don't work out, for God's sake, at this point, with the world being in chaos the way it is about viruses and all this, you would think that would have been the first man. thing that people did. But it's it's amazing how many people sat back and got bigger instead of trying to get healthier. So we, we out here... We just want to help y'all, man. We want y'all to feel good. Looking good comes along with it, but you right. have to feel good, man. Because you be lazy and tired and miserable when you eating bad, man. I, rem I was big. I remember I was arguing and yelling and nagging. Like, it's, yeah, it getting on my damn whole... nerves. Shut up. <laughs> but it changes your whole everything, guys. It's, it's very real, man. We love you guys once again. Get with it or get lost. Once again, Par Darko, these parasites is real. Anything you want to end with, baby? Oh, uh, um. This is how you elevate your mind. This this is how I elevated my mind. And it's so important because before I was eating healthy, when I was eating bullshit, I, I couldn't work out. I, I, I was arguing, we going back and forth. Like I, I didn't have nothing in my life. It, it seemed like everything I'm just going through, the, you know, and um, it, it started with getting my mind right with, with the food, with with the food, with getting my thoughts in line and everything else just just aligned itself, mm -hmm. you know, so um, get in alignment it. with your spirit, man. If you're not in line, if you're not in alignment, in alignment, can't even talk. If you're not in alignment with your spirit, then you're in alignment to be taken over by a parasite. All right, right period. You're 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 open. You're uh, what's the word? You're free. You're open field for them. They can yeah. just uh, you. I can't think of the right words. Open you know what season, I'm trying to say? It's bait. open season, fresh bait, whatever you want to call yourself. <laughs> but uh, we love you guys. Have a great week. Stay positive and productive, uh, productive <laughs> and just stay elevated. Let's get it.